Now I'm going to install one of my video cards that I have available and we are going to plug it in and let's see if we can make it fit because this, so we have a, a Raiden and as you can see here this is not going to fit or I will have to do something so it is Raiden is one of the latest and greatest, and greatest models out there if you're wondering uh, what video card it is is at least for now is the 7900 XT uh, 20 megabytes uh, the only downside is very heavy and bulky so i'll see uh, if i can make it work all right so as you can see if you want to install a video card like this is a big problem it's not going to fit so the only way to make, make it work i mean if you want to install a video card you will have to remove this uh, plastic so basically you have to push in these two areas remove this out unplug the the fans that you have here it goes here and here and then after that you can put the, the video card but if you want to put this back it's not going to fit so you have to find a smaller video card shorter also narrower because even if you want to add another one here that that is my plan adding another video card it's not going to fit this is too too big too th too long too wide uh, i wish this computer case be a little bit uh, bigger but that is the the way it is so i will have to find another video card uh, than this in order to to install it and make it work properly all right so now i was able to install another video card so i'm going to show you the new one that i got so this is shorter one so 4060 or you can if you want to install the 4070 ti whatever works and this this one comes with 16 gigs of ram so that should be enough to run 40k uh, 4k in my my all my monitors so i installed one al already and as you can see here you can see the the key features it says a dedicated array tracing cores dedicated tensor cores nvidia dlss stream game ready uh, for drivers uh, here she force experience broadcast she sync she cpu boost pci uh, 4 uh, we have the direct uh, tech uh, direct x uh, 12 vulcan rt and then we have the display ports and it says 4k uh, 240 uh, hertz or 8k uh, 60 hertz so that should be uh, good hopefully i can uh, use 40, uh, 4k in all the the ports and so that way i can have eight uh, monitors plugged in into my computer at the same time so that is the main uh, features and it's very small and as usual i am in us if you need tools electronic uh, let me know i can ship it to you worldwide otherwise i'll leave you the link and you can buy it yourself so here we have the card we're going to put the card away the box away to remove the plastics always uh, make sure that when you're removing the the plastics you know uh, you don't touch the electronic static otherwise you can use uh, gloves anti-static i made a video about that a few years ago and that's so now we should be ready to plug this in remove the plugs that we have here as you can see we have three display ports those are the professional uh, ports ones here that you see and here we have the hdmi this is for more residential connector it doesn't have any protection or anything like that it doesn't have any locking mechanism that is what i meant so here we are going to see if we can make it fit in this area here there we go it fit uh, perfectly and uh, we have the the cables here oh i'm going to move it here so that way you can see hopefully everything be working properly there we go nice okay nice we have everything that we need also here you have the ssd the new ones and the nvma and uh, now we have the, the two cpus we have plenty of, of available slots to upgrade it in the future and we should be good so after this all we have to do is just put the the brackets to the whole holder so it should it should fit hopefully it should fit if it doesn't fit uh, now we will have to use it without it yep it seems like this is in the way all right force it a little bit hopefully it will not damage anything and there we go all right hold on 